So Candace Owens have been talking and, and, and taking jabs at rapper Cardi B because of a recent Grammys performance, right? The two have been sending each other tweets back and forth. Candace had a lot to say during a new segment with Tucker Carlson. Here's the clip. Any words about it, they call this great. They say this is fabulous, that this is, this is the stuff that children should be aspiring towards. So at the same time, Tucker, that we have kids that are not learning hard academics anymore in school, right? Forget about mathematics and science. You can trust the science and trust Dr. Fauci. But you have these kids learning about critical race theory. You know, they're learning that they should aspire to people like Cardi B. That you, you see that fundamentally we are seeing the destruction of American values, American principles. And it's terrifying. I think parents should be terrified that this is the direction that our society is headed towards. And again, we are weakening America. That's that's really what we should be talking about. This is a weakening of American society. We are setting the stage and it feels like we are looking at corrosion, like we are about to see the end of an empire. America cannot survive. It cannot be right. sustained under these sorts of values and principles. Girl, sit, have several seats. Have, like, here's my thing. My issue with Candace is I don't like when people always try to use their use kids as an escape goat to, to make a point because, okay, you're saying, oh, the kids, they're looking at this, they're looking at Cardi B, they're looking up to her, and they shouldn't be, and this, that, and the third. I, we get it. Cardi B is not an age-appropriate artist, but she's not, a, she's not a high school teacher. She's not, a, she's not a preschool teacher. You get what I'm saying? And my whole thoughts on this is like, when it comes to like these award shows, I, I don't know where I heard this from, but it's like, they're making money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and there's certain things that think certain performances that has, has to happen. And when you look at these artists, I like when someone on Facebook said, well, you know, everyone is coming. Cause it wasn't just Candace Owens. It was a lot of people that's religious. I've seen a couple of videos talk about some of the end is coming and Jesus is coming back and this, that, and the third. Cause Cardi, cause Cardi B. Like she's the only artist that is, that is promotes sex appeal in her, in her music. Someone brought up the fact that nobody said nothing to Dua Lipa, love Dua Lipa, but honey, she was dancing provocatively too. She had on a two piece. She had on a bikini or or, or a onesie or whatever. Like she was showing ass. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. You know, her white counterparts didn't, doesn't, doesn't get the heat that she got. Let's go back a couple years. Gaga. Her whole art pop era, and I love Gaga, like she did a whole song with R. Kelly singing Do What You Want With My Body. No one said nothing. Well, they did, but it was because of the R. Kelly thing and not because of... Well, they said it now because R. Kelly's canceled, but back in... back, This is back when we still was liking R. Kelly. Let's be, right. But I wasn't, but they were. But like, you know... What is so when black people do it now, it's like we have to be we have to be the the we have to be the ones. I don't know. You go ahead. You What's your thoughts on this? Because, you know, there were like several points. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, that I, that I kind of fundamentally disagree with Candace. And um, I think that the angle that she takes because she appeals to a more conservative audience, mm. um, you know, it's, you know, right on brand for her. My issue is like, okay, well, at the ba- at the at the at the baseline, right? Like, Candace, you want to conserve American values, and you know when they start talking about that, they start moralizing things, especially with how mm-hmm. um, people make their money and what the kids are seeing, and you know the type of the type of idea that they want for the society. And I feel like there's this Pleasantville type of idea. Mm. or this cloud in their brain about what they want America to be like. It's supposed to be this like peaceful, quiet, respectable place where right. everyone's yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And, you know, um, modestly clothed, um, things that are considered intimate or sexual should be con- considered private and not for public display. And, um, you know, all this thing about the evolution of women uh, having autonomy over themselves having sexual authority over themselves, expressing it in their art forms and being appreciated, respected, and paid for it. Um, you know, so that just goes back, ties back to their ideas of like sex and prostitution and how women are looked at. And mm. it's like, okay, well, if we're fighting for women to be respected, how can we do that when 
women are willing to degrade themselves for the male gaze and make money off of it. It's like being professional strippers and professional prostitutes and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. So that goes into that type of lane when she's talking about it. But it's like, okay, well, this is the same girl that had a, a clip on, was it on Instagram or TikTok or whatever? She was going live, her making a sandwich for her white husband while she's barefoot and pregnant because that's where women should be in the kitchen making sandwiches. Like, girl, this is not the 1950s. And I feel like you all should, like, let that go. Like, it's not happening. It's mm-hmm. never, we're never going back there. Let it go. Yeah. Like, move on and be okay with moving on. Do what's best for you. Raise your children in the way that you believe that they should mod- or model the behavior that you want your children to have. But that has nothing to do with the rest of the world. Like, that has nothing to do with how other people decide to live out their lives and their dreams. And people have the right to do that. Yeah. The Cardi performance, it's like, um, I have my own opinion about the performance and about Cardi as an entertainer. Yeah. But at the same time, like, if you look at the Grammys, the way that they structured the performances and the way they did the placements, like, after a certain point, your kids should be in bed. Okay. And like the only way they're going to see this performance is if they have access to the internet and they're actually seeking and looking for it themselves. And like let me, going- and, and, yeah. <laughs> and that just goes to show. Yeah. Yeah. And that just goes to show when y'all bring up, you know, oh my God, protect the kids, protect the kids. Like you could try to protect your kids from the world. You cannot protect the world from your kids. They're going to get to it at some point. And my thing is this, I didn't watch a single award show until I was in ninth grade. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, that's what good parenting is, guys. That's good parenting. <laughs> like so, I wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, I, I watched the first time I ever seen Gaga perform "Born This Way," child. I was in ninth grade when that, I, I was in seventh grade when it came out. Ended up watching it like two years later when I was able able to get access to to so, um, social media and stuff like that. And I had phones that right. I had smartphones. I get it. Like you know, what you want. I I get I get what they're saying, but also like. It's not really. It's what Cardi did. Wasn't that like? It wasn't that much that they because because now they saying FCC is investigating and now they're looking into like yeah yeah mm-hmm, right. We got eighty complaints, and I think it's because of that eight, it was because eight of the, million people that watched it. Right, we got eighty complaints. That's okay. Okay, and then like the whole, I think it has something to do with the whole scissoring thing, like that part where they was like scissoring and they twirled over. I think that is what really pissed people off because you know, because Candace Owens will say like two women uh, thrusting vaginas together, whatever. That's what she made in that tweet, and it's like it seemed like there's some undertones of homophobia as well because we were because it was seen by millions of millions of people, and you know, people that I guess watched the award shows with their kids. Whoever I never watched award shows with my parents when I was little. Like that was like, boy, if you don't go upstairs, it's this grown folk. This grown, mm-mm. ain't watching that. Right now. Yeah, but we're in different times, so you have to like kind of buck to it. If you're not into it, then don't show your kids that. Like no one's no one's making your kids watch this shit. You have the control until they turn what eighteen, give or take. Right, you yeah. can monitor, but I don't think you can at this point because we're in the age of information and everything is at the at, you mm-hmm. know at the disposal of the internet or at the you know at the tip of your fingers, like. And I also feel like parents now, I won't say they're lazy, but like stop allowing the internet and media to raise your kids. Yeah. Like these people get paid to entertain and people forget that it's a business. Like mm-hmm. this is an entertainment business. It's supposed to be a distraction. The same way that niggas, excuse me, you know if I can say that before we get an FCC complaint. Okay. The, same way <laughs> men, the same way men go to strip club, <clears throat> same way. Some of the movies we watched or some of our iconic movies have sex scenes in them. And, you know, that's just a part of life. Like sexuality is a part of the human experience. And so trying to create this bubble where it's deemed as unacceptable or taboo just kind of kind of makes it harder um, for like people to develop. I feel like it's a developmental thing and trying to I get it, trying to protect your kids from certain images and certain um messages until they're old enough to understand it and fully comprehend it i think candace's fear is like okay we have little girls that are watching these women who are scantily clad and are hypersexualized, especially when they're black women because that's how how our women are looked at anyway they're looked at as sexual uh op- as sex objects and these women are being um rewarded for 
uh, pushing that narrative and saying, hey, I can be a sexual being and still be successful and I'm still worthy of respect. And that's where the disconnect comes because most conservative people mm. do not believe that sexual exploitation is something that is respectable. So this, this it's a game of respectability politics. And I always think that when you are trying, like America has this bipolar thing where it's like we say we're the land of the free and we want people to have freedom of, of religion, right. freedom of expression, freedom of speech. But at the same time, we're trying to police how people feel, how people express, how people, um, mm -hmm. um, how, how people practice their lives. And that's not fair. The second thing is, like I said, this is a business. And American, one of the American principles is free enterprise. And that means that you're able to make money um, off of the things that you create. As an entertainer, you're creating visuals, you're creating um, music, you're creating uh, conversations right. with your art. And that's what these women have been doing. Cardi B, even though she may not be um, the best rapper or, or, you know, or whatever, She's very popular. She uses her platform uh, to pull attention to political issues. Um, she's very active in her community, um, despite the fact that she puts out sexual images. Like she's able to say, "I'm I'm a full human being and capable of doing more than just one thing." Yeah. And so the zeroing in on this this one piece of her as an artist mm -hmm. um, is actually detrimental. And it's like, Candace, you think there are girls aspiring to be you? Like, then no. you need to focus on being the best version of yourself. Because a long time ago, it used to be like that. Right. And you don't have to juxtapose mm -hmm. yourself versus these other things. Like, just be the best version of yourself without trying to tear these other yeah. women down. Do I believe there are people who, um, who I wouldn't want my kids to model their behavior after? Absolutely. Are there times in my own life I'm like, hmm. I, that that's part of me, but I don't know if I would, um, I don't model that behavior for children. I right. model that behavior for other free adults, free thinking adults, critical thinking mm -hmm. adults to be able to choose to do whatever they want to do. And by my being free in my creativity mm -hmm. or my freedom and the way I use my voice and my platform should be able to allow you to be free with your voice and your platform as yeah. well. So I think Candace is just really playing the game to play to her base that's just part of her job. Like yeah. your job is to keep these people incensed and inflamed yeah. about these, these things. Cardi's job is to entertain people, get their minds, um, sometimes take their minds away from what's happening in the world. And then when she has your attention, she focuses on on things she cares about and gives people an opportunity to create conversations yeah. about that. So, um, and I knew, I knew, I knew that conservatives was going to say something about this. I knew Candace probably was going to make a tweet about it. You know, I didn't think they was she was that she went in. And my thing is, you know, a hit dog a holler <laughs> because now she wants to sue Cardi because she made that tweet talking about how, you know, you, you did a music you did a performance where two women's vaginas was thrusting on each other and it's that third. Cardi came back, was like, Girl, we heard your you uh, your husband and your brother was was flopping in together. Okay. Had the screen. She said you over here come talking about us th uh, thrusting vaginas together when you when your husband and your brother she said this in a tweet your husband and your brother was thrusting blank and blank together. Okay, she had a screenshot of a tweet that that confirmed, which is now like debunked and it said that this is like a like a Photoshop screenshot of hers. Um, but Cardi posted it. She then deleted it. Because I think now Candace is trying to sue her for, I guess, for defamation. Because you brought up, you know, you, br you brought up my private family, and uh, hold on, let me see if we got a, we got the audio for that. Hold on, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, hold on, let me share the screen real quick. Your bestie has scrubbed her Twitter account of false and vulgar tweets about you and your family after you threatened to sue her. Your response to her uh, scrub-a-dub-dub. 
I would say that this it was not an idle threat. We are suing Cardi B. Uh, you will be able to watch this play out in the courtroom. It is unacceptable that any person would use doctor tweets <laughs> to try to libel and slander my family members, my private you family slandered members, her. and think that I'm going to take that sitting down. So as I said earlier, you know, I, by the time I'm through with her, I think I will be an investor in WAP, Laura. <laughs> mm, all right. Girl, bye. You slandered her name. You brought her up. Do not poke the bear. And that's all I got to say about that. When you poke the bear, the bear going to fight back. You get what I'm saying? We all know Cardi likes to, she likes to go back and forth. She'll get real disrespectful on on, on, on the social. But I ain't going to lie, Cardi don't need no more. She don't need no more court cases. We ain't going to never get this album. That's the one thing yep. we don't need, okay? But, yeah, right, we ain't never going to get this album. But, like, when you poke <coughs> the bear, that's what happens. I mean, you, you, what, what, did, what did you expect? And... People been with saying your husband gang. Honey, that ain't new knowledge. <laughs> what they said. Honey, let me start for they suit for they suit for she sued me, honey. <laughs> hey, we just we don't make the news, we just report it. We just report it, okay. Now, come on, Candace. Like, you wanna have this fight with her every time. And I think after this situation, if this does go through, and I hope she loses, I hope it doesn't even go no go nowhere. But Cardi, just don't respond to this girl no more because it seems like she she wanted this to happen. Right. Baited her in. Mm -hmm. and then, now I get now then. I get the piece of the wop. <laughs> oh, Candace, Candace, Candace. She's about to get her own show. Um I think it's like I'm a Omarosa. No, but I see I respect Omarosa better than her though. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Yes. Oh. No, but um, yeah. No, I respect Amarosa better than her because I feel like Amarosa. I don't think she 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 not that much of a coon though. Like she cooned it. She worked with she worked with. The, more. I mean, she was she was the director of 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 <laughs> urban outreach. Okay, I mean, it had to be a black person, right? You know. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want a white person doing it, but I mean, she she I think she redeemed herself when she after she quit, and now she's doing a book trying to call. You know, She's different. She's Amarosa in two years. I don't love Amarosa, but I'm saying I don't I, I, I don't share the same dislike that I have that, uh, against her against uh, Candace because Candace she's real disrespectful. She is she, she's self hating. She's a coon. She's homophobic. It's just it's she's all the things. Like she's just a horrible person. I, I don't mm -mm. I can't. <laughs> she's just a horrible. She's person. just a horrible individual. I don't I don't. You know another thing I was looking at last night before I tapped out and went to bed. Mm -hmm. I was thinking uh, about this um, this great divide that we're approaching where where free thought is like villainized now. Mm. Like we that like I, I like I spoke to earlier in the show about the about America being bipolar mm -hmm. and its values, like how we really we want to be the nation where we have free thinking people. And everyone feels, you know, empowered to think for themselves and um, to kind of like make it, you know, make it as a as a as a civilian um, mm -hmm. by by their own means. But we also villainize um, people who think different than us, and it's like we can't want it both ways. You can't want to be in a place where mm -hmm. diversity is celebrated, where diversity is celebrated. And then as soon as people don't um, agree with you or share the same value set, like we we automatically villainize them. Right. Um, now, one thing I don't, I probably will never tolerate is when people are actively engaging in warfare against my humanity. So when you are not like, we, we can't, there's no difference of opinion or let's agree to disagree when you are challenging my humanity. Okay. But um, when it comes to principle, and it comes to character like do you as long as it doesn't affect my money or my life you know what i mean right um it's just it's kind of sad to some point that now the talking heads are all is to two different extremes and so for the people that are in the middle it's just like, like y'all arguing about what because at the end of the day people gonna do what they want to do and yeah. if cardi makes her money this way and it's legal then mind your business. 
and go make your coin how you make, make your, your coin. coin how you make your coin and that's just and that's just that it's it's you can't I can't stress that enough and it's like you can you can yeah you can have your views on certain things but it's like at the end of the day people are going to still do what they're going to have to do and they're not stopping just because you or you find it vulgar or you find it like oh my goodness we got to hide the kids hide the kids or hide your kids we not marketing to your kids okay we don't we don't care if they watch it you know what i'm saying we don't care if they we we're not trying to target them in any type of way honey you're still the big influence of their lives okay so you need to regain that influence. I know we're in different times now, okay? But, like, if your kids is not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's something that's going on with your parenting skills. And I hate to come for parents, but it is what it is. Right. Be a parent to your kids. <laughs> stop letting the internet raise them. Okay, stop letting the internet raise them and thinking that these celebrities are going to raise them, too.